Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. <laughs> Popular though it is, Marvel's is not the only cinematic take on Norse god Thor. But Thor is descended from the god of thunder. There's also Thor the Conqueror, an Italian sword and sandal version that draws more on Conan the Barbarian, opening with the birth of the hero. That moment when you realise you've picked the wrong doula. Thor's life gets off to a rocky start, born behind a bush, and then... Amazingly, that doesn't kill him, but his parents are attacked. Ah oh, no, mimes. And killed. Thor himself is cared for by Etna the Owl Man. Thus did I save the infant Thor from Newt, the faithful archer. And this was a source of great annoyance for Anuda. Occasional magician and serial narrator. And here is Thor. He who is destined to be the greatest chief of all. Even when he's on screen. I taught Thor combat. And to follow the path of right. Yep, I taught him everything I know. The only thing I have not taught him is my magic. But that's it. No other gaps in his education. What's that? A female. Female? What's a female? <laughs> Thor rescues the female, and Etna's lessons continue. No, Thor. She's not something to eat. That's much too advanced. Make her lie down and play with her. What else is she good for? Etna may not be the best person to give these lessons. The female is stupid. Have your way with her. Take her. She's yours. <laughs> Possibly the worst. The female has to obey her master. It is proven. She must fulfill you and bear the fruit that is called children. This actually explains a lot about Thor's later behaviour, but the girl seems more or less on board as they get down to business. <laughs> uh, are you just going to stay and watch? Winning the Dark Corners American Pie Award for perving on your friends. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a man, it's time for Thor to fulfill his destiny without the help of Etna. I shall watch over you. Uh, yeah, I noticed. Now on his own, Thor is plagued by weird noises. Which play no further role. He fights with a monster. Which plays no further role. He is haunted by Muppets and a biology lab skeleton. I mean, he's cracking through the mystical encounters, but at some point will any of them have some bearing on the plot? The warrior virgins? They are here. Ah yes, the wicker virgins. <laughs> After a classic everyone take turns to attack fight, Thor runs away. He kills two of the virgins, but the third Hey, without that waste paper basket on your head, you're all right. Okay, the first girls seem to come around, but this is definitely not cool. And Etna is still watching! Thor takes the girl, Ina, along for something to do on the journey. It is mine, female. In a world of a man you will live. Thor, you remember that. Hard to avoid the impression that Thor is a dick. All this land belongs to its conqueror, to Thor, your king. In what possible sense are you its conqueror? Thor surveys his kingdom. <laughs> Thor the Useless. Now, by rights, that would be the end of Thor. What are you waiting for? Aren't you going to kill me? 
but for reasons passing understanding, Ina has decided to support him. Which is ironic, because in the costume department, she's the one lacking support. By lucky happenstance, they also find... The Golden Seed of Life. Oh, don't put it in there. People have to eat that. Now that Ina's <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome has made her accept Thor, I think we all know what happens next. Get your popcorn, Etna. Thus, invincible Thor succumbs to Ina to the pleasures of connubial bliss. Dude, can you stop narrating while I'm on the job? Next, mm. Thor and Ina stop to buy food. Uh, my girlfriend's paying. And when the farmer stiffs them... No! There's a lot of shouting in this film. After a busy week in which he has successfully conquered three virgins and a small farm, Thor hangs up his conquering boots and settles down with Ina. Oh, can we not get five minutes of privacy? But then a local village invites him round. We welcome and pay homage to you. And I own it as village elder. Declare that from this time on you are the chief of chiefs, Thor. Why? Hungry tribes will come to raid our village and take what we have. A little I am willing to share. Only a little, not all. No, we will give them nothing. Thor's next quest will be against the starving. But first... Kuwasa is the first virgin since the rising of the new moon to reach the dawn of womanhood. She must warm the bed of the chief. The now pregnant Ina continuing to be the most understanding woman in prehistory. So it is and shall be till time ends. Oh, for the love of Etna, seek help! But now there are actual bad guys approaching. Many warriors coming. Not that many. It's the return of the mimes and the village fights back. <laughs> Try to avoid sword fighting during your third trimester. But with Thor to defend the village... <coughs> wow! Actual adversity, and Thor is blinded. <coughs> Fortunately, Etna is there to guide him. <coughs> Off a cliff. <coughs> Haha, uh -huh, loser. Thor quickly cures his blindness with snake venom and moss. Before getting more help from Etna. Centuries from now, he'll be called a horse. This is set before the invention of the horse. I saw Thor. He was riding a strange beast. It was as big as a hut. Depending on the size of the hut. But why this gift? A horse adds to your force. But no one can talk to a horse, of course. And you'll be surprised to see the difference it makes as the entire mime army flees without a single blow struck. All except Newt, who killed Thor's father. Oh, missed. Back in a minute. Sorry, still getting the hang of this thing. Okay, I'm coming back. There. That'll do. I was hoping this would end with Ina killing Thor, saying, that's for murdering my friends, enslaving me, stealing my money, and then cheating on me after I saved your life. Then killing Etna, saying, and that's for watching him do it. Now the long journey is almost over. Doesn't end like that, but I can dream. Thanks for watching. To see more Sword and Sandler reviews, click here. Superhero or warrior, Thor has enjoyed a film career most gods don't get. What other mythological figures deserve a broader cinematic career? Let us know in the comments below. You. Wait here. <laughs>